Now in the previous video, you saw about the drum machine and there is an actual video on, on one of these slides about the drum machine. But next I wanna show you something called a synthesizer. Now, most of the instruments that we've ever played in class or we've heard in recordings are instruments, we call them analog instruments. They are instruments that we do something to to cause a vibration and make a sound. Think of like your guitar. When you pluck a string, the actual physical string is vibrating. When you blow into a clarinet, the reed is flapping really, really fast. And when you blow into a trumpet, your lips are, are buzzing. When you hit a drum, you're making something vibrate. Electronic instruments don't do that. They use electricity to make that happen. In other words, it's kind of like a, a, a simulation. Think of like in a video game. You can see people walking and doing things, right? But there's not actual people doing that. It's what we call a simulation. A synthesizer, and you can check out the video over here of, of the synthesizer at your leisure. I'm going to show you an online synthesizer. This is this was invented back 30 or 40 years ago, and this is a electron. This is a computer version of something that would actually come in a box. It looks kind of like a piano keyboard, right? I'm going to play a little bit here. Let's see. Interesting, right? Has weird sounds. Now, all of these knobs up here change little different things about the sound. I'm not going to go through all of that for, for a couple reasons. First of all, it's a lot to remember. Second of all, I don't even know all of the stuff about this. I know plenty enough to get me through, but yeah, it's, it, it, this, is, this is another topic for when you're in college. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe, you, maybe you'll find one of these and mess around with it. But um, what you're hearing is an electronic simulation of an instrument. In other words, it's trying to pretend. You hear how it's kind of whoa, 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 whoa. It's simulating the wave of the music. And there's different things that we can change on here. Like, for instance, let's see what happens if I click on here. It made the pitch go higher, right? Now let's come over here to some of these knobs here. Let's see what happens if I... Notice it took out the wall. And it made it kind of take longer to get to the wah part of that, right? Let's see what happens if I do this. Now it took longer for it to come back from that wah part, right? Interesting, right? Let's change what the wave form might sound like. That's that's how the the sound wave is moving. We were we were doing a saw wave, which looks kind of like a bunch of triangles if you were to examine it in a in a uh, like a audio spectrometer or something like that. Um, but a sine wave is one that's a smooth repeating wave. Let's change this one to a sine wave too. Interesting. Let's go to a square wave on both of these. Kind of, kind of interesting, huh? So um, on, on something like this, uh, musicians could utilize and create thousands of different sounds and uh, and incorporate those into their music. Sounded really kind of funky, right? Um, What's really interesting about synthesizers and electronic instruments is that it didn't take long for computers to get involved. And um, one of the things that that's really interesting about that is there was a, a, a thing called Music Instrument Digital Interface, or MIDI for short, that allowed one instrument to control the sounds on another. In other words, you can make your keyboard control the sounds of a guitar, and vice versa. Really tremendous stuff going on here. I wish I could spend way more time, but my five minutes is nearly up. I hope you enjoy the videos. I hope you have a great week. Thank you so much for watching.